ओके हाय एवरीवन टुडे वी हैव टू डिस्कस द डेटाबेस कंसेप्ट और द डेटा डेटाबेस स्टेटमेंट्स बेसिकली इन दिस वीडियो आई हैव टू फोकस ओनली ऑन द डीएमएल स्टेटमेंट्स इन द डेटाबेस सो लेट्स सी द डीएमएल स्टेटमेंट सो फर्स्ट वी हैव टू सी द व्हाट इज मीन बाय डीएमएल सो डीएमएल इज द डेटा मैनिपुलेशन लैंग्वेज ओके डेटा मैनिपुलेशन लैंग्वेज मींस कि ऑलरेडी already table structure is created and we have to just manipulate the row record okay means what this dml statements is only a helpful or only a useful in your uh, in your row record okay means whenever we have to insert the row in database that time whenever we have to update the row record that time whenever we have to delete a particular row record from the database so in that case we have to use the dml statement students means we have to just manipulate the data we cannot make a, or we cannot disturb our table structure we have to just manipulate the row record we have to make a changes in only a row for this purpose we have to use the dml statement students okay now we have to see the first dml statement that is the insert statement so what is the use of insert statement student so using that insert statement we have to insert the row record in the database means we have to insert we have to add the record in the database okay means we have to add uh, the some column values in the database using that insert statements already columns are created using by the ddl statement uh, create statement so now here we have to just pass the column values in the database with the help of that insert statement now again here uh, whenever we have to insert the row record uh, uh, in our database that time uh, that time we have to insert only one row record at a time okay means whenever i have to pass row record in the database uh, we have to just pass the single time now here what is the syntax syntax is the insert into table name uh here you have to pass the column name values uh values word is there where and condition now insert is the dml statement into is a keyword table name means which table you have to add the values you have to specify that particular table name here you have to pass the column values suppose consider here student ki i have to create the student database and inside that student database i have to uh three column student id student name and student class so whenever i have to insert the statement in the database that time what uh, how i have to uh, write the query for this insert into student student is my table name here i have to pass the column value column value is what student id suppose id id is a number value that means i have to directly pass the number suppose i have to enter one okay one next i have to specify the column means uh, whenever i have to specify the column here means that means they have to break that first particular column value means first particular column value will be completed after that student name whenever i have to pass a string value in the database that time i have to insert the single quote okay inside that single quote i have to insert a particular string suppose i have to insert student name as a ajay single quote complete again i have to give the comma means that particular student name value will be completed after that suppose student class class is again a string value again it uh, means i have to enter the characters in the database that time again i have to use the single quote i have to insert suppose fyit bracket complete next values you have to enter the values word where you can specify condition suppose you have to restrict on particular row that time you can specify the condition so this is the syntax about the insert statement now we have to see the second statement that is the update statement so why we have to use that update statement in the database so using that update statement we have to update our row record okay again here whenever i have to write the update query that time only one row record will be updated okay not only whole database will be updated or more than one record will not updated using that update statement so whenever we have to pass whenever i have to write down the update query that time 
we have to just update the only one row record okay see syntax is update table name set your column name means which column name value you have to update it you have to specify your column value means what type of value you have to update it here second column name and your value 2 value 2 means your uh, previous value or existing value which will present in your database and where you can specify the conditions suppose consider here example suppose i want to update a student name okay for uh, whose student id is 1 update their name ajay to vj okay that is my question so i have to write down the query for this update student set student name equal to vj means that's my updated name i have to specify here next student name equal to ajay means that is my existing name so uh, where where and now here i have to specify the condition okay now here condition is what in question they have to uh, in question specify the condition is who the student id is one so condition is what student id equals to one semicolon means that particular student i those student have their id one they have to update their name aj to vj so using that update statement we have to update our database now the last statement is the delete statement so why we have to use the delete statement in the database so using that delete statement we have to delete the record from the database again here whenever i have to write down the query for the delete statement that time only one row record will be deleted from the database suppose i want to delete all the row record from the database in that case we have to use the truncate statement not a delete statement there is a difference between the truncate statement and delete statement okay truncate statement whenever i have to execute the truncate statement that time all the database all the row record will be deleted from your database and whenever i have to execute the delete statement that time only a single row record from the database there is a ma main difference between your truncate and delete because truncate command uh, or your truncate statement and delete statement their purpose is same deleting the record from the database but difference is what student different is truncate delete all the row record at a time and delete only a one record at a time there is a difference now what is the syntax for the delete statement delete from table name where you can specify the condition delete is a keyword from uh, sorry delete is a statement from is a keyword you can specify your table name and where the condition suppose i want to delete the record from my student database uh, uh, which student id is again one okay so how i have to write down the query for this delete from student where student id equals to one once i have to execute that query on our database that time the those student id is one this record will be permanently deleted from your database okay so i hope you have to clear all the dml statements thank you students